Well, it's a program that uh, admits students here into the Providence campus, and students spend their first year here with us, taking nothing but science-based courses. The biotech program here is, I mean, when I took it, it was about 30 students, and it, it was, it was, I think, more comfortable for me coming back. Actually, the uh, unemployment office told me about this. I was gonna, just going to go to uh, New England Tech. Then I just said, then she, she said, oh, you have all this experience uh, in the uh, industry. Why leave it? Because I want to become an electrician. <laughs> <laughs> this they start you from the, a lot of introductory class first. Right? Chemistry and biology and microbiology and biotechnology. We're combining hydrochloric acid with magnesium to make hydrogen bubbles, forcing out the oxygen out of the test tube. Yeah. But now, since biotechnology is being taught more and more so in high schools, we're getting more traditional students, what I call true freshmen, who are coming to us directly from high school. Like, I think there's a different mindset. I know when I was 18 or 19 year old, 19 years old in college, I looked at it a lot differently than I did when I came back when I was 28 or 29. Well, they're taking these additional courses, they're working perhaps part-time or even full-time in the biotech industry. People coming back who either were in the scientific industry and got laid off or in different industries and got laid off or people who just, you know, were, were testing the waters at college to see if it's something they really would feel comfortable in. And these stories are very, very typical. People who, who are unemployed have had a lot of difficulty in the employment area that leads to always to family difficulties because of loss of income. And we're able to educate them in biotechnology, get them out there working for biotech firms, and most of them have successful careers. So coming into biotech is definitely giving me like a more stable basis. One of the questions that I was asked in the uh, interview is, is the, um, what did I learn? And uh, they were very uh, impressed by, by what, uh, what was going on in the class. Right here at the Providence campus, the Vaccine Institute, the Institute for Immunology and Informatics is located actually right here in the building. Basically the premise of everything we're doing within this, this uh, research program is trying to make safer, faster, more effective vaccines. All the things that we learn in the in all the classes that we take preparedness for the biotech field, I found it to be uh, very uh, easy to go from the classroom to the uh, to the biotech uh, industry. I heard an ad on the radio for URI Biotech Program, Providence Feinstein Campus, and I'd always intended to go back to school. And I met with Dr. Bosey and a, another advisor, and I looked at what classes I had from when I was in URI previously, and found out that a lot of my credits still counted. So I enrolled. Putting on magnesium. 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 Yeah, okay. Trying to get a little yeah. smaller than the last That's one good. because yeah. we uh, had like, too much last time. No, no. Well, it was like a little over we didn't have enough liquid inside of the 10, 10 ml. As we get feedback from industry about what students should know in order to be successful in industry, we change our curriculum accordingly. You should have seen. By having the biotech certificate, I, I feel helped a lot. And I, mean, I like immunology, I like what we're doing here, and uh, it's definitely given me a different direction in life. And we have many, many uh, stories, uh, such as a couple of guys just who were laid off because of a closure of a chemical firm in Coventry, and now are in the biotech uh, field and working for Alexion. 